The Zizi Africa Foundation, World Hunger Healthcare, and Anglican Development Services have partnered with Latia Agri Business Training Center in Isinia Kajiado County to empower youth and women of reproductive age in farming activities. Uh, Latia is an organization that started in 2007 uh, to offer training to the farmers, uh, the pastoralist community, youth and women to improve the production, uh, who can also be accredited and be certified. And that is when the institution was registered in the year 2016. The Agribusiness Forum, dubbed Greening Tivets, involves training on activities like crop, dairy, and poultry. According to the trainees, the program is so beneficial, relevant, and timely, they wish for more of such trainings. It has really helped. Uh, it, has, it has taught me more things concerning the dairy farm management, uh, things that in the past I didn't know, but it has really helped. Uh, I did dairy young stock rearing, milking, entrepreneurship, employability. I was in Latia learning for horticulture and I went to internship, which it, it has taken three months. Getting skills is it's better because you can employ yourself. So as we train farmers, we engage them with community. We also do consultancy services for the farmers. At the Green Business Project started in 2019. Uh, of course, we are affected by several factors like the COVID issue when it came in. So the project took a little bit time to, to start it. But eventually we rolled up the project. We as a implementing partner for the training in Kajiado County. We were tasked with training 200 youths and women. So far we have trained uh, 44 youths. Actually 40 of them completed the training. Uh, we have a dropout of about four cases. So for us we consider that as a success story. There were a few challenges there and then, but the main goal is that we were, all, we, we were able to offer uh, skills, knowledge. Trainees feel that they have actually benefited from the training because they are able to secure jobs. I joined last year, 6th of January, uh, this year 2020, up to April. That's now when I went to attachment. Twenty-cutter production is one of the best courses. The course was not that so easy, but still we manage it. Right now, if I, I get to some, most of the students are just at home. Like right now here in Kajado, we have a lot of drought. So we depend on kettles and they are now dying. So what I would like to tell them is just to, to do this course because the, the course is very, very marketable and very enjoyable. I can employ myself, like I can start a small farm and sell my produce. Many things are done practical. So it is easy for one to get the skills. Like for me, I, like, I loved agriculture a lot. And that's, why, and that's why I came to this institution and got the skills that I got, of which they will help me in future. My group has uh, 21 members. I've gone through with 19. Uh, Three are held up somewhere, but with the 19, we've been able to do quite a lot. The group was trained on the dairy goat farming, and they are doing well, because they are even able to look after their other goats. We are now waiting for a practical, and then if the rains are coming, we'll be able to, to kick off with the project. And I've been able to meet the women and know their problems, how they can solve them. Credit to the ADS that uh, they brought the project. We hope for more. We have been able to do it. 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 Kama tungekuta kitu kama hii, tukiwa sisi wazazi kitambo, tusaidie. Atunge kuwa vile tunaishi saai. Na atunge kuwa tunenda kwa jiruwa vile tunaona watoto wetu wa meajiru. Unasikia kwa kuwa suji Saudi Arabia wa kiteswa. Kama ukipata kitu kama hii, utajikimu hapa na utaenda, utaenda nje. Here in Latia, we have different types of greenhouses. 
We have a basic greenhouse, we have intermediate greenhouse, and we have an advanced greenhouse. So currently we are in the basic greenhouse. At least when students come to Latia, they get the hands-on skills on how to manage the greenhouses. So you'll find that when you, a student from Latia goes to those farms, if you will find a big difference between the farm that has a student from Latia and the other ones without. And uh, we get good reports from the farmers who have employed them or even the places where they are in the institution that uh, they are doing good. We went through so many training, like uh, building a house for the chicken, keeping of chicken and the benefit of the chicken. And also we learn the diseases that can affect them. This training has made me to take this one as an addition to a business, to my work, which it will help the children for earning and also it makes them to be active in working in their, in their environment and also benefiting from the locality. Since they wanted to be empowered to depend for their own, it has been a long journey. Uh, we started uh, when the women are a bit reluctant, maybe because of the project, they have never undergone such a being empowered. They have developed a saving plan whereby whenever they sell anything or they have that soap, they sell it and they have savings. I myself, I have benefited a lot. I have learned on how even to build that house, how to take care of these chickens and even the medicines. We didn't know the medicine, but after the training, we learned the medicine that you are going to use. They taught us everything and we are happy. Ningependa tu kuwa encourage wa mamo ingine, wapate kujiunga na vikundi, na hiki kundi yetu ama wa Watafute ingine, juu sisi kama wamamu wenye kwa hiyo kikundi tumepata mapato makubwa sana kupitia hiyo kikundi, kuuza hizo mayai, tuniinua mjamii zetu, tunalipa school fees kupitia hiyo project. Nimebadilisha mawaso since sisi wa masai tu, tunajua kufunga ngombe na mbusi, lakini kama masai tumepata hiyo mafunzo, Tumejua hata pia kufuga kuku tunasakua, tunapata masau kutoka hapa. Himizo langu ni kwa shukuru haswa wale walitusaidia na green houses, wame tushikilia. Tulifunzwa mambo mingi kusu ngombe, tulifunzwa kenye kutakamua ngombe. Kama sisi wa masaini tunakamua ngombe, umeona ili mate ya ndama? Kwa sisi tunatumia nganga hiyo mate ya ni ndio tushike matiti vizuri, tukafunzwa hiyo ya istaili, tunastaili kukamua na mafta. So niwana ngombe wamekua sawa, sikuize umu ina matiti. Mifunzwa hazua ndaza hajiri miu mwenyewe. Imenasaidia juu iso masio na isakamua, na napeleka hapo kwa, kwa deiri, na sinausua tunapata pesa.